now. Your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Kevin Holmes of 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for Friday, February 12th. Officers investigating a murder in Kansas City, Missouri. A woman was found dead in an apartment along Newton Avenue, just northwest of Blue Ridge Boulevard and Bannister Road. Officers took one man into custody. They're not looking for any other suspects at this moment. If you know anything, you're asked to call the tips hotline. As school districts debate on when to return in person learning, a new bill in Kansas would require schools to fully reopen next month. Lawmakers introducing that bill today, it would require schools to offer full in person learning starting March 26th. This new bill comes as the CDC offers recommendations to safely reopen schools. It outlines five key strategies, masks, social distancing, hand washing, cleaning and contact tracing. School districts like KCK have plans to follow those protocols as they welcome more students back into the building in April. KCK schools also in the process of vaccinating staff members, although it is not a requirement. This weekend going to be brutally cold. Warming centers are open in many areas across the metro. In Kansas City, Missouri, the Scott Ike Warming Center inside Barter Hall is open from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. If you need a place to stay warm or a place closer to you, you can call the United Way of Kansas City by just dialing 211. West Perry with more on that brutal cold. Yeah, negative 17 is what it may feel like tomorrow morning as you wake up. And even during the day, the warmest part will probably feel like about negative 5. Low temperatures on Saturday morning near negative 2. High temperatures, positive 7. Kansas City, 9 downtown in Elise Summit and in Lawrence. It gets colder. Here's a 7-day forecast too. Is the high on Sunday with a good chance of snow, maybe some snow hanging on through Monday as well. Negative one is the high on Monday. Positive one is the high on Tuesday. We may set an all time record cold temperature on Tuesday morning, 35 on Friday. Get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.